Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe's Neon here. Hey, check it out folks. I want to do a little bit different video. Uh, got some requests that maybe you folks would be interested in seeing a little bit more cooking. And uh, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you folks a little bit of cooking here. And I want to show you what we're cooking. What we're going to be cooking is the crown tipped coral mushroom. And I had to bring you out here in the woods. This is right behind my house. Just to give you an idea how these grow and where they grow, all right? What I got here is an old white oak log. Okay, now if we come down to this old white oak log, we'll come right up this log. And you see that right there? That's the crown-tipped coral mushroom. They do not have a look-alike, okay? I know a lot of you folks have seen them. This is a very small specimen here. That's because the ones that were on this log, um, I had picked. So uh, what I wanna do is I wanna take you inside the house and show you how I prepare them. But again, if you look at this area I'm in, I'm in a lowland. Um, it's been raining good. That's why I was out looking and I made a pretty good harvest But this is where you're gonna find them in a damp environment that really doesn't dry out during the day as far as the logs go and whatnot and they will produce again <clears throat> Not again, but I just want to say in this video here if you don't if you're not sure of what you're picking Don't pick it and eat it. Okay. I don't care if it's plants mushrooms or whatever it is um it seems to be that we need to have a disclaimer nowadays. But anyhow, that's my disclaimer, okay? So if you're not sure of what you're picking, don't pick it. But like I said, there's no look-alike to that mushroom. That's the crown tip coral mushroom, okay? Looks just like coral. Um, I think I had some more back here. Where did they go? Yeah, there's some more here. Um, I am maybe up on the front of the log. We might have had some back here, but you notice that I'm in this lowland here, okay? And it's really damp. It's really, really super moist down in here. I wasn't sure if there was maybe a little bit on this log here. But this is what you're looking for. These dead moss-covered logs. And that's where you're going to find the crown tip coral mushroom. So let's go into the house and I'll show you how, uh, how to prepare these delicious, delicious delica delicacies from the woods. They really truly are amazing. And this is beautiful. I wanna say hi to my buddy JC, boss of the swamp. Check this out, brother. Um, if you folks have not watched his video on jewel weed and the benefits and health effects of jewel weed, go watch it. Um, I know it's already helped a tremendous amount of people to this point, but if you're not familiar with JC, Boss of the Swamp, go check him out. But check out his video on jewel weed. Let me show you what jewel weed is. Okay, jewel weed has these orange flowers. Okay, and these pods are developing. See these pods right here? Those pods will get really big, and when they get really big and swollen, if you just touch them, they'll pop. And they're also known as touch-me-nots. But yeah, this is all jewel weed here. See here, some of the pods are getting a little bit bigger. None are ready to pop, or I could show you that. Even if I twist one by the base, it probably won't pop, but no, they're not ready yet. But anyhow, folks, yeah, this is my patch of jewel weed. Gotta love it having your own patch of jewel weed. But I'll just show you how close I am to the back of the house. Find yourself in a damp area in the hardwoods and look for the crown tip coral mushroom. You won't even believe how good they are. All right, so here we go into the back of the house. So let me get you set up here. I'm gonna put you on a tripod. 
And uh, I want to show you some of these. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to show you some of these that I've already picked. Now, here in the light is a better, maybe a little bit better look of, you know, what they look like. They have little crowns on the tips of the mushroom. See that? And they look like coral. I mean, come on. You folks have probably seen these things growing all over the place. Don't walk by them. Pick them up. Wash them in the stream. Sometimes on the base right here, there's going to be a little stem like that. Get rid of it. It's a little tough. Just snip it off like that. If you do cut them short, though, it's going to make them fall apart, which is fine. Not a problem. So anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a... Uh, I'm going to get the stove warmed up here, and I'm going to show you how to cook these beauties. Now, these... This, this mushroom, here's, here's some that are a little bit darker. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you got to get them before the slugs eat them. Because when the slugs get to them, that's it. They'll eat them all before you will. But th they have a really, really nice nutty flavor to them. It's very unique. Um, buy the pound on the black market. I think they're about $57 a pound. So, yeah. Yeah. They're a delicacy. Now, I'm just finding some stems here. And I'm just pulling them off. You really don't have to be too particular. Wash your bugs out of it. Which is easy in a strainer. Just rinse them out. And um, you're good to go. So yeah, we're going to take these. I just like to break them up just a little bit. And uh, yeah, JC, I got my grandma's Griswold number five here, buddy. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, we got that puppy heating up. Anyhow, um, there's a couple other projects I've been working on here recently. I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, Doing, uh, kind of getting back into my Native American crafts. Been having some fun doing that. Hold on, I'll show you something. This piece here, this is a, um, a fan that is used for um, moving the smoke of smudge. A smudge is a Native American spiritual um, incense in a sense, that is sage, um, cedar, cedar and sage, very popular, um, sage more so in the out west, but what they would have is a bowl that the cedar and sage would burn in and they would just move the feather over the top to just move the smoke around. Um, yeah, so what I got here is I've got white-tailed deer antler, I've got buckskin here, I've got a piece of buckskin here, that's how I finished that deer antler. Beautiful, right? And then I've got two um, uh, deer antler beads. And the brass beads are actually the uh, end on the end of a guitar string. And then I have right here is grizzly hair. This is all grizzly. That was sent to me from a friend from Alaska. This is a goose feather. And I've, excuse me, I've hand painted the vein. If you can see that but yeah that's a breather for when you're burning smudge it just blows the air around it's really cool anyhow our pans heating up here okay now th this has got to be the easiest recipe there is on the planet besides toast and butter this this is even easier toast and butter is two steps this is one besides picking Okay, I'm going to move you over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Let me get you right here. Whoa, almost lost you. How's that? I got my pan heating up here. And I'm just going to take myself a good wad of butter. All right. And I'm going to turn this pan down because you do not want to burn this and you do not want to burn your butter. Okay? 
So I got my butter. Oh, lost you guys. Oh, hold on. All right. Now I'm gonna take my uh, my coral fungus, my mushrooms, and I'm just gonna put them right in that butter. And all you wanna do is just kind of lightly toss them. probably a really bad idea because of a light. Yeah, now you just very lightly toss them in the butter. Can I see that all right? We'll just let them set there for a minute. I want to show you another project here um, that I just completed. This here is a Native American Indian rattle that I made using a piece of steer horn that I finished all down. And I've got southern yellow pine that I've capped the ends of the steer horn with. And I've got a piece of choke cherry running through the center with a buckskin wrap handle, artificial, artificial sinew wraps on it. And I got a piece of buckskin here. I've carved a decorative end on it. It's kind of neat the way it's held on. I've got a pin that I've carved here that slides through a keyhole. And I've got brass tacks that go all the way around and hold it on. But yeah. It's got a lot of sound. So it's a fun project. Anyhow. We're going to give these, uh, these mushrooms just a toss here, and they're going to be done. Alright, move this just like this. That's it. That's all there is to it, folks. And if I can, uh, If I can uh, get some of these to cool <laughs> quickly, because they're so hot. Mm. Like my buddy Bill Gary says, man, oh man. Mm. Get out there and find some of these coral mushrooms. Crown tip corals. It's like I told you, there's no look alike. You can't screw it up. Wash them up good, fry them quick, quick and butter. Mm. You never had anything like it. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll be back with you real soon.